I thought it was just going to be me, Adam. Hello. Good afternoon, Professor. <laughs> I, I have class outside today, so it is, it's a beautiful day, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's get started. It's just you and me, Adam. Oh, and Rebecca. Oh, and Rebecca. Sorry, Rebecca. That's I okay. I just got on. Yeah, you just, <laughs> she just snuck in. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So what's due? We've got the voltaic cell lab. That's going to be due. That's going to be due. That's uh, going to be due on Thursday or Wednesday night, 11.59 p.m. And I'm doing a Zoom, not a, well, I'm having a tutoring session actually today to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, th th make sure you watch the video. It's only six minutes, so it's not too bad. Okay. But, uh, Jed, did anybody here have any questions about the Voltaic Cell video? Or was it Voltaic Cell Lab? You had any questions about Adam? Uh... Or you haven't really no, sir, yet. not yet. All right. Okay. So the next thing will be the determination of vitamin C by redox titration. Right. So um, whenever I was doing the pre lab for um, for the vitamin C, mm -hmm. um, so it basically was the vitamin C. Oh, and by chance, are we doing like uh, are we? Are we learning for this semester? Are we learning about the electron configuration of all things, and then finding out if it's going to be a uh, London um, hmm. next step hydrogen bonding, and then the fourth step? No, no, that's uh, that's organic. Or I do cover that in my general chem one class, but not not chem not general chem two. Okay. Because I took uh, Gen Chem 2 last semester with Popovich, mm. and that's what he was doing in, in uh, mm. Gen Chem 2. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have the vitamin C plus the iodide, and then basically it goes over to the vitamin C. It loses the hydrogen on, uh, on two of the hydroxide molecules, so it's just oxygen alone. And then it makes a two H I. So oh, I'm just going to. I was trying forward. to figure out what, how, like how oxi how oxidation and reduction work. But now, like after uh, the Zoom session this morning, mm -hmm. I like understand it a bit. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to try and pull that up here, actually, so you can take a look at the reaction. And, I, and uh, yesterday I was trying to figure out like uh, what's the mole ratio until I like looked at the video and I'm like, all right, it's one on one. Spoiler alert. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's okay. I think if anybody's taking the trouble to actually watch this video, then I, say, I see that as being a good thing. I don't mind giving away right. some stuff during the video. Thank you. All right, let's have a look. Oh gosh, it's a long way down here. All right, almost there. Okay, yes, you're right. It is a one-to-one, -one. and you can see here that. Remember how I was saying earlier about things that have more oxygens. Uh, that's an oxidation, and then things that have less oxygens in the product, that's, uh, that's usually a reduction. The other thing I can say is hydrogens as well. So you can see there's hydrogens here. So this has two less hydrogens, which means it's more likely an oxidation. So fewer hydrogens or more oxygens means an oxidation. Okay. And you're right, it is a one-to-one -one reaction. That's exactly right. Right. So, uh, given within that, with, with the pre-lab like that, so it's oxidized. So I want to say it's oxidized to, um, if we look at the, the, uh, the Lewy structure, it shows that we have, um, three oxygens. So it's going to be oxidized to, uh, IO three minus. Uh, no, no, take, take a look at the, 
Now take a look here, you've got I2 and it's going to HI. You can actually see it here, HI. Yeah. And now the H, the H here is H plus, which makes this I minus. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Right. Yeah. yeah, so watching the video pays off here, definitely. So it's going to be oxidized to I minus. Well, let's have a look. I told you that this is being reduced, right? Yeah. 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 So. Wait, hold sorry, on. Sorry, no, sorry. This is being oxidized, oxidized. Right. Yeah. So if this is being oxidized, then the I2 must be reduced. Right. Because you can't have both because things being oxidized. it's a reducing agent. No, <laughs> no uh, oxidizing this is, it, agent. it's an oxidizing agent, right? The I2 is an oxidizing agent. You with me, Adam? So if that's the oxidizing agent, mm, this is being oxidized. And it turns out to be reduced because. Yes, yes, that's right. And if it's being reduced, think about what that means. Uh, you know, oxidized means another way of saying oxidized is going up in charge. Reduced means going down in charge. That's where the name reduction comes from because the charge is going down. So if the I2, which has a zero charge, is going to something that has a negative one charge, then you can see that that's a reduction. Right. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. All sorts of interesting stuff going on here. Now, the other stuff that's in this pre-lab, pre we've got uh, what reacts with the starch to turn it purple. So I, you can find that out from, well, actually from two things, from the video and from the, and from the lab itself. And then we can look at the mole ratio, which we already talked about. And as you can see here, the reason you know it's one to one is because it's a balanced reaction. And you can see that the two hydrogens that are here actually end up with the I. So that's where the HI comes from. And because that's a one and that's a one, it makes it a one to one mole ratio. I don't know if so, you have an example um, for this. But what would be the like absorbent acid then? I'm, oops, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Adam. Sorry, my AC just popped on. What would be the absorbic acid? Ascorbic acid? What do you mean? This is it. This is the ascorbic acid. Vitamin C is ascorbic acid. Okay, okay. Yeah. And this is called. Um, Dehydroascorbic acid, I think, the name of this, what it becomes. And it says here, it says here in the lab, any excess iodine will react with a starch indicator to make a purple color. Now that's interesting. Mm. All right, what else have we got here? And um, what would a non one to one ratio look like? Well, non one to one ratio, you'd have a different coefficients out the front. Like this would be a one and that'd be a two or a three. Okay, so it would be marked there. Oh yeah. Well okay. but that yeah, understand Nathan, that only that only works if the reaction is balanced. Right? You can only say that if the reaction is balanced. This one is Yeah, I understand that. So the, the mole ratio you can definitely say is going to be one to two on the HI. So one mole of this gives two moles of HI. But that's not what you're being asked in that question. You asked about the mole ratio between these two guys. Okay. Uh, how many moles of ascorbic acid can be reacted with that many moles of I2? Well, it's going to, because it's a one-to-one -one reaction as we discussed, and then that's going to make it pretty easy to figure it out. And this here, this question here is asking you to uh, basically apply this equation one down here. And when you've got moles per liter of ascorbic acid, that is the actual concentration of the ascorbic acid. So I think that's given here, you have a concentration is this big M, which is moles per liter. So that's, that's what goes in there. And then the liters of ascorbic acid, and you can see that would be 25.00 mils, but convert that to liters by dividing it by a thousand. The mole ratio we already talked about as being one to one and then being times one over the liters of iodine and the liters of iodine are down here 
uh, 30.65. So that will, that less 36.65 mils, which needs to be converted into liters. And that's how you'll come up with the molarity of the iodine solution. I think it's worth saying here that you can, you can take a look at what's going on. In fact, I, I will do this. I'll, uh, let me pull this up. I might lose the screen share for a second once I turn this on. But I hope I don't. I did. But I want to point out exactly what's going on with the units here. So if you've got, if you've got um, moles per liter, moles of AA per liter, and you multiply it by liters, and then you've got one mole of I2, one mole of acetic acid, over one over the liters of I2, you can see what's going to happen is that the moles of acetic acid, uh, sorry, of ascorbic acid are going to cancel, liters will cancel, and all you'll be left with will be moles of I2 per liter, which is equal to concentration of I2, molarity. So that's, uh, that's, that's going to be important, it's especially going to be important when you look at the next part of it, where we have to take the molarity of the iodine and come up with the molarity of ascorbic acid at the end. So at the end, and I'm not going to give you too many hints about this, but you'll start with the molarity of iodine. This is for the second part where we're finding out the molarity of the ascorbic acid. And you want to end with the molarity of AA, which again will be moles of AA per litre. So that's, uh, that's going to be important as well. I'm not going to give any more clues than that, but that's how, that's how, we're, that's how we're going to do that second, that second part uh, once we you know, to get the molarity of the of the ascorbic acid because the first part what we're doing is we're standardizing the iodine and trying to figure out the molarity of that and then once we know the molarity of the iodine we can figure out the moles of a, of ascorbic acid in a, another solution uh, an unknown solution the solution of unknown molarity which is what we're doing All right, does, does anybody have any questions about this vitamin C lab, the titration lab? So do watch the video. You, obviously you can fast forward some of it. We're uh, waiting for the color to change. <laughs> it's, uh, but, you know, it's worthwhile. It's worthwhile doing it so you can get, a, get an inkling as to what the process is and, and why you're doing what you're doing. All right, any other, any other questions about that? Okay. Nope. All right. Let's, uh, uh, let me exit out of this preview here. So I think that the pre-lab is due on, on Wednesday for that one tomorrow for the vitamin C. No, I thought it was, it was no. yesterday. It was, it, was. it was yesterday? Yeah. Tomorrow's electrolysis. Oh, tomorrow's electrolysis. Okay. Yeah. All right. So tomorrow's electrolysis. So let's look at the electrolysis. Uh, for this one, make sure you're using the latest version of the lab manual. And that's the one I've, I've uploaded because it has more pictures in it. But, you know, I do have the video as well. And that, that kind of goes into it. But this one has the better pictures in it of the setup. There we go. I don't think those pictures are in the, in the earlier version of the lab manual that I first of all, I first had up here. All right, so you will need this vapor pressure chart here. That's going to be important. So make sure you know that that's there as well. So make sure you, you do have this, this up 
And this, this is the latest version that's already in the lab manual link in the, in the folder. I think that will be helpful. And then you've got, uh, well, the rest of it, just watch the video and it's not too bad. The, the, uh, the actual calculations aren't too bad. I don't think either. Does anybody have any, any questions about the electrolysis? I guess that pre-lab is due on, uh, on Wednesday then. All right, well, the last, that's it. Then there's just one more lab after that and that's the graphing lab. And the graphing lab, just make sure that when you're doing the results that you use, where is it? Actually, I, I just took this off. Didn't mean to close that. Now looking for hand drawn graphs and I, I do make that clear in the, in the actual results section, but make sure you're using the graph paper that's in the lab. And that's this graph paper here. So you can print it out. There we go. That graph paper there. So print it out and make sure that you've, you're setting it up so that it uses as much of the, the graph paper as possible. And that's the whole point of this, this business here with the increments. And that's where, that's why I like people having to do this because they have to figure out how to set this up so that they have the, they make up, they, they use as much of this graph paper as they possibly can. So that's my, that's really my only tip there. And that's pretty much it. It's not difficult, but uh, you know, I, I do get some interesting things submitted for that one. Anybody have any questions about the graphing lab? All right. Oh, Sean, you just popped in. Do you, have any, do you have any questions about the vitamin C, the electrolysis or the graphing lab? Oh, Sean. Um, so far, I'm pretty good. All right. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about any of the room? Cause that's it. That's the last one is that graphing lab. Yeah. Tom, um, we use Excel. No. No. <laughs> That's the whole point. I want you to hand draw it, Adam. <laughs> I want you to hand draw it. You know, most of my questions come like during when I'm during this, like during, I don't know. Like, you know, I always email you, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's what I'm here for. And then I, I've, I can talk a little bit about the final. Talk about the final, if you'd like. Yes, sir. Let's talk about the final a little bit. Okay, so we've got the lab final. Lab final's in the lab final folder. And here is a study guide. Now, the thing is, I, I mean, I've written, I've written you all pretty hard as far as making sure that you've got your calculations set up in such a way that everything's labeled. And that the reason is this, it's so that now you can use those labeled equations in, a, in order to do all of these different activities that you would be expected to be able to do for the lab practical final. So if uh, you can we use our lab book for the lab final or. Yeah, that's the idea. That's why, that, that's why I rode you so hard, Adam. Right. Right. I mean, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not in really in the business of making people dig holes and then fill them in just for kicks. Right. right? So, so, so it's so you can do all these different activities that are here. So what you should do is look through here, look through your lab book and make sure that the way that you, you do, you've got it set out allows you to do these kinds of questions that 
would relate to these things here. All right. Now the the thing is that in the uh, I mean I'll, I'll be I'll be straight with you on this. I mean usually when we're doing this lab practical final, you're doing something with your hands, right? Right. But here you're not doing anything like that, obviously. But mm -hmm. uh, this this question here, where you have to figure out the the pH range and let's see if i can see the other one here here we go and this thing with the 10 test tube mystery yeah so i mean i i would practice that i'd go back to the go back to that ungraded practice quiz in the in the 10 test tube mystery i'd, I'd make sure i could do that and if you want to you can even write down some notes in your lab manual about it hmm. I, I, I would, I'd do it. Basically. So like the PA, the pH and buffers, it basically just flows into the 10 bottle mystery. No, no, no. It's two just by the colors. Two separate questions. Two separate questions. Right. But, um, like referring back to, um, a zoom session that, uh, I opened up and it was a recorded session. Mm -hmm. Um, you basically gave off a hint where you have a chemical equation and reactant side has one color and oh, yeah. then product yeah. side it goes to another color. Mm. So yeah, I'm, I would, with, I'm, with that being said, like the initial color of just those two, like that's just like the initial start off from like the 10 mystery dropper. And then we just see what else like reacts with it. Yeah, I, I suppose that there is a bit of similarity here, but for something like this, we're only interested in the end color for this specific question that I've, I'm looking at here. Yeah. We're only interested in the end color, not the, not the beginning color. Okay. That's a difference. Does anybody have any other questions about the lab final here? I'm assuming it will be done through honor lock. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. That way, the reason, the reason I want it done through honor lock is because it allows me to make sure that the person logged in is the person doing it because it, Well, your uh, calculator will apply to that. I'll think about it, Nathan. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I think it's, I think it, it's prob since you're all using a lab book, I'm probably going to lean on the side of allowing, since you're using a lab book anyway, I mean, there's very, <laughs> how are you going to cheat really with a cell phone? But uh, I, I'll probably allow people to use calculators, handheld calculators. Okay. All right. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you, I'll let you all know and I'll send out something about that before the, before the final. Uh, the, the final will be offered at a fairly specific time. So don't expect that you'll have all day to do it. Hmm. All right, it will, be, it will be set at a certain time. In fact, I think I've already got it set up here. Let's have a look. I think I might even have, here we go. So 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Oh, yeah, on July fourteenth. That's that's like two weeks from now. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah. Is it time limited? Yes, it is. But that being said, Rebecca, there should be plenty of time. Okay, but I mean, what's the maximum time? Two hours or an hour and a half? Or three? oh, let me see. Hopefully the questions won't pop up here. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking at the time. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no, three hours. Yep. Better. 
Okay, so the full time if you log in at 8 a.m. Well, I actually, in truth, Rebecca, you can log in anytime between 8 and 11. Right. Right. But, you get, but you at get, 11, it would expire, so you wouldn't get... No, no, that's not true. Okay. No, I think, you, I think you'd still get a full three hours. Oh, okay. As long as you logged in before 11. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. So, you know, you've just got a little bit of a secret there if, you, if you're watched, if you watching this <laughs> <laughs> or, or you're here. <laughs> yeah, I, I would rather, I think I'd log in earlier rather than later, though, make sure that uh, everything's copacetic. Absolutely. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Any other questions? Nope, but I am I am gonna go back and and do those labs that I just so happen to miss and get ready for the final. So. I, that, I think that's a great idea, but you know if, if you've handed in your lab book, then you know chances are it's been it's in pretty good it's in good enough shape for you to do the final. Yeah. I guess I have a, a timing question. Mm -hmm. If the lab is open to start between eight and 11 mm -hmm. in our um, normal lecture class, which would be the last Zoom before test four, if I'm looking right. Oh, okay. That's a little bit of a conflict, right? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, I never really thought about that. Uh, all right. Well, I'm not going to change the time I've, I've got set for the lab final here, Rebecca. Okay. I'll say okay. that. Okay. Uh, but I may, I may make an adjustment to the, I may make an adjustment to that Zoom session. Okay. Okay. All right. Just double checking. But, but I do, I do appreciate that. No, I had not, uh, I had not thought about that. July Neither 14, had I. <laughs> Until July 14, I looked in my calendar. Yeah. That's a, that's a Tuesday. Yeah. It's a Tuesday, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, and I think our test four is the 16th. Yeah, that sounds right. So mm -hmm. yeah, that would be the last, uh, that would be the last. That'd be the last one, yeah. But you, you know, in, in truth, in truth, I, I was thinking that, that that one might not even require a Zoom session because I think that the stuff in, in test four is fairly, well, it's pretty easy. So okay. I'm thinking maybe I could get get it all done in that first zoom session in the seventh okay but we'll see you'll see okay. i might no, i might leave it sense. but well you know i don't know we'll, okay we'll, we'll see okay all right thank you do all we right. have a final for lecture what's that sorry do we have a final for lecture yeah good 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 it's just, but you know the thing is you can it, it replaces one of the lowest test grades if you, oh, yeah. if you end up having to take it Oh, I will. Yeah. Oh, I will. All right. Any other any other questions about the lab? All right. Well, I guess we'll leave it there then, folks. Thanks for coming, and I will see you all uh, later. Yes, sir. All Enjoy right. the rest of your day. Thanks, Salute. guys. Bye.